Hello, everyone. Grateful to be here with you. We just completed our Harmonic Holiday Masterclass session, and the Council of Light is stepping forward as an inspired offering to upload to YouTube the very first part of that session, which helps gives a little snippet of a tool that can be used for you crafting the next six weeks in a harmonic way. And we just encourage you to um, play with it as much as you desire. You can use it for this next six weeks. You can also implement it again in another six weeks in a different way. And we're also going to be doing another uh, session on 1212. So feel free to check out our website in a couple days. It'll be up there um, to join us for the 1212 transmission. And if you do decide after doing this little snippet of today's masterclass that you want to kind of dive into the whole masterclass session, it is available on our website at embracingtheinfinite.com. And just to give you a little bit of an overview, it went a, a little bit different direction than what I expected, although we did do another process at the end for specifically the harmonic holiday. But we really worked on layers and pieces around completing cycles with learning in power. So there was a lot of returning and retrieving of power, all kinds of power. There was the creative current, um, the support, which is an aspect of our power, the power from the solar plexus, the spiritual power, uh, the heart power. We really dove into a lot of really deep, rich layers in a really methodical way around power. And I feel like it was as we move into Mercury retrograde, this um, precursor for a tool to use during this Mercury retrograde to help you really move into a place of completion with those cycles, karma, learnings, and power. So if that resonates for you, um, again, it's available on our website in a sliding scale, so you can check that out at embracingtheinfinite.com and click on the store. You can also go directly to embracingtheinfinite.store, um, and it's the Harmonic Holiday Masterclass. And we look forward to seeing you all again soon, and enjoy this tool from today's session, Masterclass session. Much love. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome to our Harmonic Holiday Masterclass with me, Omaji, the Council of Light, and your guides, advisors, higher selves, many, many beings of love and light here to support this session. And there's several layers I'm looking at based on things that you all wrote in, um, energies I was connecting to prior to this session. So it'll be a bit of a mix of... Uh, harmonic holiday masterclass and empowered evolution masterclass. Um, and so one of the first things I'm looking at is this idea of the season we're in energetically. And we're in the midst of shifting from in the U.S. the fall into winter. And with that, the energy wants to move into a more grounded state. It's like the trees will shift their energy from the branches into the roots. And so we're going to bring in a process to help your body, Devas, um, do this in a conscious way using their energetic field so they don't have to use other less conscious mechanisms, if you will, to make the energetic shift. And that will generate a balanced foundation, this energetic stance of the more grounded, the kind of ready for winter, where we nurture the roots and we, we expand the roots in the winter. 
Um, and so we're going to bring in this process. And if you're in a different part of the world where the seasons are um, actually opposite of what we're experiencing here in the U.S., then you can either revisit this or just invite your body to do what's appropriate for it at this time. Because we're going to bring in some other layers with the roots that can benefit it no matter what season you're in. When I'm being shown um, layers with the roots where um, it's creating a grip, tension, I'm being shown tension right now in the shoulders and the neck, but also the hips, the, the lower back, the mid back. So really even the knees. And so it's this idea of, and it can even give you a headache. Um, the gripping is, is being used to try to facilitate the process we're going to bring in. So here we go. We invite you to take a deep breath in, leaning into your line of light, remembering that you are a being of light. That's your identity. Inviting you to anchor even deeper into that remembering and that energetic stance where you retrieve all your reference points for you, your awareness, your focus, back to your beam of light, back to the present moment. Inviting you to orient and remember yourself as this ray of light emanating directly from source. And you can even travel up to the divine spark where you originate from in the heart of source and anchor into your spark. Remember who you are. Body, David, nature, spirit at the level of your higher self, inviting you to work with the energetic fields and the guys to bring all your reference points for you, your anchors, your identity points back to your ray of light that emanates from the heart of Gaia and the heart of source. Leaning even more deeply into your column of light. Inviting the teams to do the same. To move even more into the present moment. And as you move into this present moment, inviting you to recognize and acknowledge that you have massive ascended masters, beings of love and light, massive amounts of support encircling you, including your teams, Council of Light, guides, encouraging all of them to model the appropriate stance, activating and amplifying greater safety and support within themselves, greater connection within themselves which then positively, empathically impacts you and your body, Deva, and helps generate a safe, supportive container. It's like, make it even more safe and supportive for you to shift you. Encouraging you as a being to remember yourself as an aspect of source and to retrieve all responsibility for you shifting you, for you healing you, for you evolving you off of everyone and everything, including the guides, the ascended masters, the council of light, back to you holding it at the level of your higher self. They're here to support, share information, model, bring in reminders, help facilitate, but not do it for you. So encouraging you to retrieve all responsibility for you, back to you. For supporting you, shifting you for having the clarity. You want to hold that responsibility for the clarity, for the freedom, for the liberation, for the connection, so that you can give it to you, so you can access it at source level. It's not going to come from something outside of you. The external is the reflection of you having it within, activating it within amplifying it within. And so before we move into the first energetic piece that I was shown, they're now bringing in, while you're in the stance, honed into your identity, in the remembering of, okay, what I experience in the outer is a reflection of what I'm accessing internally, amplifying in my river of light. We invite you at the level of your higher self for you to work with you at the level of your higher self to determine 
what is it I deeply desire to experience over the next six weeks? What's the quality? Is it connection? Is it joy? Is it peace? Is it freedom? Is it empowerment? What's the, the main, if you could kind of rank the qualities, what's the top one the priority for you? And maybe it's different from your body than it is for you as a soul. So we're going to encourage your body diva to go to a dimension where it can be in council with its guides and advisors, its higher self, and get clear on what is it I really, really, really want to flavor, to reflect into my world the next six weeks? What harmonic quality? And if you're not sure what it is, you can just say, higher self, body higher yourself, determine the most harmonic quality that would be appropriate, most honoring to amplify at this time that then informs the next six weeks. And then invite you at the level of your higher self, body Davis, higher self and teams, and maybe your teams also choose a particular quality for themselves that then works in tandem with what you're choosing, your body's choosing, but it's it's unique to them. It supports the group fields into more harmonic, amplifying the harmonic, inviting you, your body and teams to activate and amplify that quality more to retrieve all responsibility for having it off of the outer world, the outer experience, your family, gatherings you may or may not attend, events you may or may not attend, um, things in the outer world that we think are going to give us that fill in the blank. Retrieve all responsibility and reference points back to your river of light where it actually lives. And then activate and amplify more within you. Ask your higher self, will you amplify this please to an appropriate degree? Body, David, do it for you, teams for you, your own unique quality, whatever it is, the harmonic, supportive quality that you're choosing. And if we're looking for feeling a sense of belonging or acceptance, we're looking for connection. And again, you don't have to know what the label is. If we're looking for If you're looking for safety or support or freedom from something, freedom in general. So just allow for, it's like you're sending what you perceive at this level up to your higher self and inviting that to be honed and amplified. Identify the appropriate quality and amplify it. Appropriate harmonic quality. And I'm just holding the focus here till I can feel the ripple. There we go. And then we want to balance and stabilize it. New default. Integrate. Update all grids, all reference points, all ways in which you perceive and are perceived. Now recognize that one simple process is a way that you as a being have now determined, intended for a very specific framework for the next six weeks, an underlying current intention 
for the next six weeks. And maybe it's a joy. Maybe it's empowerment. Maybe it's love. Maybe it's like an inspired energy. Whatever it is, just hold space now for the reflection. And if you wish, you could repeat this process every single day over the next six weeks, which would generate a huge ripple moving forward in your experience, not just for the next six weeks. Okay, good.